Hi, my name is Mike Johnson and I'm going to give you a little pre-log to my video tour of this Georgetown for by Forest River 351 bunkhouse motorhome. I'm going to show you the video in a, in a minute, but I'm going to explain. This motorhome has an inside-outside main TV that I added. I just took this RV on the uh, road test uh, to some popular sites, Yosemite, Kings Canyon, Sequoia Park, and Las Vegas, and also uh, Area 51, uh, or near Area 51. So uh, I took this on a little uh, evaluation test drive, and we added a uh, TV, which is an inside-outside TV. So right now it's on a table, you can watch it outside. But this TV mounts inside where you can watch it when you're driving. So talk about that in a few minutes. One of the thing, one of the things we added was this quick mount. So this is a quick mount. It slips into the dinette and it slips the back of the TV slips onto it, and then the TV is securely mounted so you can watch it when you're driving. Hello, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2014 Forest River Georgetown 351 bunkhouse. We may have a little breeze going today, so I'm going to try to stay out of the breeze as much as I can. And we're going to go in on this video inside, outside, on top and underneath to look it over. Now this is a very beautiful motorhome. Before we go any further, I'm going to start by pointing out it has two slides and a mega storage compartment. There's big enough storage to fit big 10-speed bicycles in here. You have a ladder to access your bunk beds and an automatic power transfer switch and then the uh, IntelliPower power supply, 50 amp power cable, battery charger and everything. Roof access ladder, backup camera, side view cameras, V5 towing package and before we go any further this has 2020 registration paid through March that's about a $600 value there if you buy this coach that $600 you won't have to pay when you buy the coach because it's prepaid for you prepaid registration is a very rare thing when buying a motorhome but this one does have that power awning glossy mirror finish exterior frameless windows now let's open up the power awning here inside this 351 is the awning switch we just hit the button and the awning opens up out goes the awning it does have a metal shroud over the awning to protect it from sun from the impact of sun damage and it does have the uh, spring-loaded four points of support here so it's more resistant to damage there's also awnings on top of the slide outs those are to protect your slide outs so you don't have to climb up on the roof and sweep off acorns that squirrels and birds throw at you from the trees above So you got slide topper awnings to keep your slides clean and keep the suns off the slides to keep the rain out of the slides it keeps them cleaner and then this is your main electric power awning one touch open one touch close super easy to use in the old days you had to get sticks out and turn screws and lift them manually this is nice power operated main awning and you have these big privacy I'm sorry, big towing mirrors with wide convex power aiming, heated with wide convex towing mirrors. These ultra modern low profile side view cameras, these mini side view cameras to, when you turn on the turn signals, you get a side view. So if a bicycle or motorcycle or car is over here, you get an extra perspective up over and above your towing mirrors. Nice cargo storage inside here two of the TVs are brand new the bunk bed TVs are 19 inch TVs with DVD players brand new with the box installed already for you mirror finished 
exterior. I'm showing you this side because there's no, we're out of the wind. I've got to go around once more to show you the windy side. But this one is super clean. This motorhome looks basically like brand new. It's not all sun faded or anything like that. It's really glossy finish on the exterior. Front tires are brand new, have been replaced. Two front tires are new. So you have the newest tires on the front. Glossy, mirror finish exterior, both sides, front and back. Look how shiny and clean. And we did have this detailed and waxed. Has a locking gas cap cover. You do have an 80 gallon fuel tank but with a locking cover that keeps anybody from stealing your gas. We're gonna go up in a minute, talk about the roof and everything. It's fully automatic leveling jacks. This one has unique, it has the easy dump waste tank system. So the little J tube comes out, you just hook your hose right there. Super easy to dump the waste tank, no mess, no, no hassle, really nice. And the tanks are enclosed inside storage compartments, heated compartments. So if you go somewhere it gets below freezing at night, your water tanks are in the body. Actually, in here, fully enclosed. You can see there's a black cover over this side. That's your water pump in there and the water tank is in there. Fully enclosed in a heated compartment. So if you go winter RVing, this one is a good option. You know, some motorhomes, the tanks are hanging underneath. And if it drops below freezing, your water will freeze immediately. Not this one. If you're running the heater inside, your tanks are heated and you should be okay. So let's go take a look inside the Georgetown 2014 351. This one, uh, I have a lot of requests by people to see it with the slides closed. How much room there is to walk around. Here we are with the slides closed. This is how it looks when you're driving down the road or when you show up to uh, pick it up from your storage. You can pass all the way through to the bedroom. There is, with the slides closed, room to sleep on the queen bed with the slides closed. This has all LED lighting and it's got 32 inch TV in the bedroom. Your bunk beds can be slept on even with the slides closed. And you can get into the restroom and use it with the slides closed. There's even access. This has the overhead bunk. So you can even drop down the bunk with the slides closed and sleep on it if push came to shove you could do that but buying a motorhome with slide outs is not about having the slides closed it's about opening up the slides super easy you just come here you press out and out goes the slide out now you do want to make sure that it's not going to interfere with anything on the outside we've checked that first and you want to make sure it will not interfere with the driver's seat when it's coming in or out and I can see that there's plenty of clearance this one actually has a lot of clearance to the driver's seat not all of them do but there is a lot of clearance so with the seat in a comfortable comfortable position you still have three or four inches of safe margin for most drivers we can open the bedroom slide out open it all the way out and then we're ready for going uh, camp sleeping. Now let's take a look at the driver's station here. The driver's seats are in excellent condition. They do swivel around and they're two-toned, very nice looking seats. Extremely important feature, you have these roller shades which come down the main front shade is a power operated shade dash ac works great they're also dash fans so i can raise my shade 
Get ready to drive. Oh, there's an RV in my way. So I won't be able to go forward yet. But with the power shade, okay, I can't un I cannot overemphasize enough how nice it is to have these shades. These are really, really, really nice to have because with an A-class motorhome, not all of them, but this one has a nice big windows giant windows so when you're driving towards giant volcano Mount Shasta or Mount Fuji if you go overseas um, Mount Shasta you're heading straight forward and you yell hey wow look how beautiful that is or Mount Hood or some of these other pretty mountains and you say look and all your people in back if you're in the C class they can only see this much but in an A class you have this giant window but when the sun is coming in at a steeper angle, it's really nice to be able to close these shades. You can still see out, you can see your mirrors, you can lower the front shade, and you have the full benefits of the C-Class. One of its big benefits is a shady cockpit, but you still have that shady cockpit here, or you have the sunny cockpit, depending where the uh, sun is at. So I really like these shades because when I'm doing my long RV trips 10,000 miles a year having these shades I'm spoiled that's nice let me turn off the dash air because we're getting wind noise I think so this RV as of right now has 39,029 miles it's a one owner coach it's not a rental it's extremely clean and well taken care of. Very nice coach. Now as I sit in the driver's seat, if I turn on my left turn signal, I have side view camera of the left side. If I turn on my right turn signal, I have right side view camera showing up on the dedicated camera screen. And if I put it in reverse, I have a backup camera. Oh, we can't go backwards. There's two cars behind us. So you can you can safely maneuver this motorhome. It's big, but it's not that big. This is not one of these 45-foot diesels. It's a little bit uh, bigger than a U-Haul truck, but not that much bigger. So it's pretty easy. Uh, I've seen young females handling these cars, so... I think anyone can drive it, but not everyone feels like they can drive it, but you only need a car driver's license to drive this motorhome. Up on the dash here, you have your leveling jacks. Let's level this coach. The parking brake has to be set to level the jacks. I prefer myself to manually level coaches because they'll sit lower to the ground when you do, and you can still level them on more extreme surfaces. The most important thing about leveling a coach is you don't want to lift the tires off the ground. The rear tires are your parking brake and if they're lifted off the ground that's not a good thing because now you don't have any brake contact with the road. And the front tires just in case some somebody's little poodle crawls underneath it you don't want those off the ground where they could lower down and squish something valuable. But if you you can auto level it, it's very easy. You press on auto or auto level, but I prefer to manually level. So like I press manual level and I'm lowering the left side, both jacks at the same time to lower the left and then I'll lower the right. Oh, gotta go again. That's almost flat where we are. So I'm gonna move it just a little bit more to the right only lifting the coach just a, an inch or two and we're level it's blinking green in the center super easy you can also do it front and then rear or if it's too high you can retract the checks manually lower back lower in the manual position raise it up the way you like it you know maybe you like your head higher or your feet higher when you're sleeping you don't have an adjustable bed in here 
or do you? You don't want to get too extreme with that, but that is available to you. And the backup camera, if you need to turn it on when you're driving to keep an eye, make sure your trailer stays behind you or your towed vehicle, you can manually do this. Okay, this is another point about this motorhome. This has a dedicated backup camera display. Some RVs, like the one in front of me, have a nice navigation looking radio with a screen on it and they use that for the backup camera. That's fine unless you want to leave the backup camera on and listen to the radio at the same time. You can't do it. This one you can. You can listen to the radio while the backup camera is on because they're separate systems. Uh, so, And then you get a little bit bigger screen than you would if it was just the radio and uh, can have a better, clearer picture of what's behind you, which is nice. And we have power mirrors with mirror heat we have dash fans. There's the defrost fans behind the front window shade. Raise the window shade. Show that off again. But I have a little switch to turn on the, da the dash fans here. The generator start stop switch is right here on the dash. And if I put my glasses on, I'll tell you how many hours are on the hour meter here. Our meter says it has 874 hours on the generator as of right now. That's not much. I've had these generators with 2400 hours and they're still going good. So uh, 200 hours is about the equivalent of one oil change. So compared to a car. So this car has 30, this car chassis part has 39,000 miles. But if we switch it to info, let me find it. And then, and then, um, engine hours are eight hundred and forty hours driven in thirty nine thousand miles. So you can do the math and see how many hours the engine runs per thousand miles in the case of this motorhome. So you could say that generator has about 39,000 miles of use based on the time on it. Same thing. 840 hours here, 874 hours here, almost the same. So Fords are nice because they'll give you an hour meter display for the uh, main engine. That way, you know, cop cars, man, those cars idle forever. They may have 100,000 miles on them, but you go look how many hours on a cop car. And some of them get a lot of hours. That's why Ford does it. Cops love Fords. Or police agencies love Fords. These seats look really good. These are new condition because they've been redone with a more durable factory uh, fabric so that you sit here and you're not gonna your seats are not gonna flake away on you so the dinette in the georgetown has two seat belts and i've added this quick release bracket that goes in here and they kind of need to use two hands to install it but it goes kind of like that and the tv slips into it so i'm going to hook that up right now so this is for the inside outside tv you can take it out, put this away, and not use it. Or if you have gamer kids that, like I do that want to play video games when you're driving down the road, you mount the TV in there. So I'm going to set the TV onto the bracket. It goes on in, in seconds. So the dinette uh, inside-outside TV is mounted. It mounts in only seconds. See, it's picking up right now over the air broadcast from a local TV station and it's securely mounted so when you're driving there's some there's a bag of screws that you can fasten it down if you want but it's it's mounted here and it can take unclip and go outside or you can put it away uh, to have lunch or something like that it takes only a few seconds to put it away um, when we went on our little trip we put the Xbox One game console in the uh, compartment under here and all our power 
gadgets and chargers were under there. So when the kids wanted to play video games, of course, the generator had to be running unless it's plugged into the inverter, which is possible as well. But basically, you just hit the button on the game controller and it turns on the Xbox system and now the kids are playing games, so piece of cake. And since dad has control of the generator switch up front, you know, everybody stays in line. And uh, that makes some of the more boring uh, road paths uh, easy to uh, tolerate if your mind is occupied playing Call of Duty or whatever game you're playing. Star Wars or whatever. Uh, but they can play the uh, video game consoles. Any type of console that you can plug into a TV or Blu-ray movies or any type of player will connect to these TVs because they have HDMI and all that. And there's a lot of room in the compartment underneath and it gave them easy access. They were pretty happy about that. This is a 32 inch TV. So there's three 32 inch TVs. The one right behind me, which when the slide is in you can't use. This one here, and it's theoretically possible that you could have pointed it forward, but I think in the idea you don't want to get car sick when you're driving so facing forward straight ahead is the best position if you're going to be watching TV this is an ideal situation and two people can do it um, anyone else can play their iPads or phones or whatever but uh, and, or they could take turns over here playing video games while you're rolling down the road and then when you get to the campground you just take that TV and stick it outside on a table plug it in and you're good to go for an outside TV and uh, like I said watch this this is how easy this thing disconnects it's securely mounted but you just release it from the mount and unplug it this bracket here just slip it up you're ready for Dining in the dinette. That easy. Let's go on to the rest of my video. So as we start our walkthrough, I'm going to point out important features. Very, very minimal carpet in this RV. It's got this uh, wood laminate style flooring. Uh, it's a linoleum flooring that uh, you just sweep it clean, mop it clean. Uh, if you track dirt in here you just sweep it out with a broom this sucker's got the full-size residential home style refrigerator big refrigerator I have a case of Pepsi in there for size reference and then so big refrigerator, stainless steel, a stainless steel microwave with turntable, table, big full size like a 2.2 cubic feet or something similar to that. It's a large microwave, stainless steel cooktop, three burner cooktop right here, and it has a stainless steel gas oven now the ovens are important because if you have pulled up to a dry camping campground where you're not allowed to hook up to power um yeah yeah you're not allowed to run a generator after 8 p.m and you want to cook it's nice to have that oven for some people my wife likes her generator and her gas cooktop but the oven for some people is very important so you have to watch out if you buy one without an oven and find out that you need one. It's not exactly that simple just to make a change later. So as we're walking to the back, we have our bunk bed area here. Each bunk has its own television set in it. Actually got brand new TVs in here. There's four TVs inside the motorhome these are with dvd players there's a dvd player right in the side of the television and they get digital over the air broadcast 
in the bedroom you have a 32 inch television it gets digital over the air broadcast in my area without using the satellite dish you can get over 150 channels over the air free uh, broadcast TV if you do go to remote areas the satellite dish on the roof will be helpful for you to hook up your direct TV or dish network there is a ladder to access the top bunk built into the coach and there's drawers underneath there's little cubbies so like tomorrow's clothes can be stashed right here so everybody's can get up early and grab their clothes and go LED lighting in the coach and dual roof air conditioners and up in the front you have this this extra bed I'm gonna try to flip this down here so let's see if I can do this one-handed the way this works you lift up the bed you move that out of the way and then you flip it over and pull it down and now you have a front bunk like a extra long twin long type of uh, uh, bed here so one person tall person because this is like seven foot long bed can sleep up over the front um, that's super easy to set up or put away you just lift it up move this out of the way and then it comes down with counterweights and stuff like that so that's how it works and it's held in place by this catch when you're driving down the road and all the counterbalance uh, mechanisms and so forth so right now the way you see it the rear queen bed can sleep two plus two that's four in the bunk now you can sleep a fifth person and we haven't even done anything with the sofa or the dinette yet but this has a high to bed sofa which is in good condition you pull this out of the way and it flips over into a bed it's one of this style where you just flip it up pull this over and then you have a bed that sleeps two right there so two four six now we're sleeping seven people on beds and we have not touched the dinette which is nice because even though it's super easy to turn this into a bed in the morning people can get up and start having breakfast already and you don't have to disturb it but you could sleep one maybe two people here and on the floor here there's room for an inflatable mattress which would sleep another uh say two one or two people so let's count how many people is possible two four five six seven eight nine so i see that we could sleep nine people in here if you need to sleep more and you want to push it harder um i think a nine is a safe bet so i'm going to show you what's unique another thing about georgetown that's unique there's a lot of nice things about georgetown one of which is these bottom cushions they just pull up like so they're hinged is some rvs you have a piece of plywood that you have to get splinters moving it around not this one you just flip the seats up this has a dream dinette so you just flip over the lever you push it down and then it fits into the position there down it goes and you stick your center cushions into the center here I'm doing this one-handed so if it looks clumsy it's because I'm using one hand to hold the camera push these in like so and now this is a sleep position someone can sleep there this is the first one who has to wake up because that's where your breakfast goes unless you picnic outside So I'm going to talk about a few of the RV systems in here. It has a residential RV refrigerator. 
this runs on AC 120 volts. It does not use any propane. It has an onboard power inverter. So this RV has a 2000 watt inverter, a pure sign inverter that provides power to the refrigerator when you're driving down the road or when you're parked running it off the RV batteries. It is a large capacity refrigerator because it's a big refrigerator it uses more energy than the small RV refrigerators which are about the size of one of the doors roughly. So this is approximately three times the capacity of a traditional RV refrigerator and being three times larger capacity it uses more power. So if you're going to do dry camping you may want to keep at least four house batteries. This comes with two but you may want two more. Some of the some of the Georgetown models with this refrigerator come with four house batteries in the newer years because of the power demand of the refrigerator. But um, if you're not doing that much, if you're doing campground camping or over the road to campgrounds, this is an ideal refrigerator for lots of people and lots of food. Works really good. Um, and the older RVs didn't really have one this big. It does have an ice maker, it's all digital controls. If you go to Home Depot, something like this will cost you $3,500 or so to buy a refrigerator like this um, but it is designed and installed by the manufacturer for RV application and there you go we do have a du double pan stainless steel sink in here a very tough stainless steel sink a spray a rinse one that extends out and then we are using the RV's onboard water pump right now. We're not hooked up to water. This is all on board. This RV is ready to go. While we're talking about the kitchen, it does have this glass backsplash, which is super easy to clean when you're cooking. You just wipe off the, this is the premium glass backsplash. Older RV's, a lot of them don't have a backsplash and this has a storage location to maintain your, your cooktop covers you can put them in there there are sink covers for this we have one put away but there are two sink covers for it all the cabinet wood is in really good condition very good premium wood nice and clean inside let's go back and take a look at the restroom facilities as well starting with stainless steel sink running on water pump I have my soap in there the stainless steel sink super easy to clean backsplash behind the sink easy to clean you have a mirror you have a like a medicine storage cabinet up on the top you have towel rack here you have a towel rack on the door storage under the cabinets here premium shower with an on off switch on your shower head your mobile shower very nice uh, very popular style shower head here the forest river likes this shower it's super spacious and efficient the doors close magnetically together up on the overhead you have a skylight so you have extra head clearance all the lighting in this coach is pretty much LED lighting energy efficient lighting and then there are weatherproof vent covers over the vents so I can leave the bathroom vent open or you can just leave it open rain or shine or snow or wind and then the water and stuff can't come in because it's a weatherproof uh, protected cover it does have a light switch right here which makes it easy for the little ones to turn it off and on the light or there's the LED lights up here as well for more additional lighting in the restroom and notice there's no 
there's basically no carpet in this RV, which makes the restroom and all the way from the bedroom all the way forward to the exit there's no carpet there is carpet under the slide out area but it's very minimal that's good for uh, simplifying the slide out operations that's an advantage but there's a minimal carpet so you sweep the floor clean mop it clean easy clean up talking a little bit more about these five TVs these four TVs uh, big TV picking up hundreds of channels digital tuners you have satellite dish capability on the roof if you subscribe to direct TV or dish network and um, there's DVD players on the side these are brand new TVs we installed these for you and then uh, they have DVDs on the side these are nice large TVs they're mounted up high so when somebody's sleeping in the bunk and their feet are up here they can still see the TV over their feet same thing for the lower uh, bunk and there's LED lights they stay cool so you won't be burning anybody just push the button turn it off and on LED lighting they got a window and these are the frameless windows so they just open out there's a cubby pocket and a shelf in here so your gadgets and gizmos can be plugged into power and set up on the shelf at night premium uh, drawer hardware the roller guide fully extending drawer so you actually have a lot of wardrobe storage in this RV RVs with one slide they don't have is anywhere near as much storage and there's cubbies and power points uh, next to the bed over there on that side you have a cubby and a PowerPoint over here you have a cubby and a PowerPoint LED lights for reading lights turn them on and off additional storage up in the overhead all the way across storage here drawer storage on the side that extends long way out deep drawers privacy wood privacy doors so when you need your privacy to change or um, be separated from everyone else on your trip close your privacy doors when you're ready to go on the road you just lock them into position so that they're not uh, moving around it's always easier to do this with two hands I am only holding my camera with one hand very nice Forest River Georgetown of the Forest River, Georgetown. Inspecting the roof. You have a digital over the air broadcast antenna. Satellite dome. So you can get your satellite TV. All the seals look good on it. Paint, awnings, they're all good. You have front roof air conditioner, center weatherproof vent. These weatherproof vent covers are really nice because you leave the vents open in the rain or the wind and you don't get damage and you don't get dirt and water inside. AC and this has the newer generation 2 Dometic air conditioner units the generation 2 are much more efficient and powerful uh, than the earlier ones so they're quieter as well all the weather seals and things look good awning fabrics look good everything looks good up here let's go look underneath so let's take a look underneath the Forest River, Georgetown 351. Starting right here, we have a V5 trailer hitch towing package. Capable to tow a 5,000 pound trailer. Factory installed. 80 gallon fuel tank in the back here. 
powerful hydraulic leveling jacks that are not leaking and that's your differential with the Bilstein shock absorbers Goodyear uh, RV tires plenty of tread empty roll bar here on the axle underneath the chassis here trying to roll through triple electric step extends down uh, you've got your two house batteries day codes on the battery are February 2016 your front hydraulic building jacks notice the jacks are not leaking brand new front tires the front tires have been replaced so you have new tires on the front front springs front engine and radiator look good on here front springs look good front shocks again brand new tires on the front these are not the original tires these have been replaced. The water is falling on me. So these front tires have been replaced with new tires. Your left leveling jacks, your transmission looks good, no leak. Hydraulic system not leaking. Your generator 50 amp, 5500 watt Onan Cummins Onan generator. These are the state of the art uh, generators in the RV industry. And that's your serial number tags. It has 50 amps of uh, power and 5,500 watts output, which let you run both AC units uh, simultaneously along with other electronics on board. Your easy, easy dump, waste tank dump, your exhaust, your other two tires on the rear. These are good years. The other side of your 80 gallon fuel tank and springs inspecting. No leaks. Look good underneath here. Clean and dry. Uh, 